Hey there, now that I've talked to you about what DMSCB stands for in division, now it's time for you to see what DMSCB does in action. Let's try it out with the division problem 42 divided by 2. Now, I teach my students that they should always start in the tens place, no matter what the size or what how big that digit is. Um, we always say that division is different. It is the only place value where they will start in the tens place or the biggest place value as opposed to the ones place or the smallest place value like they've learned in addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So we start in that biggest place value which is the tens place. So in this case, we are going to start with D, which means divide. And we are going to, do, going to divide 4 divided by 2. Now my students still struggle with their basic facts. So what I say to them is, how many times can you skip count by 2 until we get as close to 4 without going over? And some of them can even recite that to you. Some of them use tallies, so we would skip count and we would say, two, four. I can land right on four. How many times did I skip count? Two times. I just did the division step. Next, I need to multiply. Every single step involves the very last number I wrote down. So in this case, I wrote down the two. So I'm going to multiply two times two, because two is the divisor, and I get four. Next is S, which stands for subtract. We are going to subtract the number that we just wrote down. So we are going to subtract 4 minus 4. And we get 0. They might even say, number is the same, 0 is the game. That's if they remember the subtraction rhyme. C stands for compare. What we are doing is we are comparing the number we just wrote down with the divisor. This number has to be less than the divisor, otherwise we didn't divide correctly. In this case, 0 is less than 2, so that means that we did divide correctly. And finally, the B stands for bring down. Is there another number in the doghouse that needs to be brought down? I call the dividend the, the doghouse. And the answer is yes, the 2 can be brought down next to the 0. Now, because we brought down a number, that means we have to start all over again. But this time, we're starting with a new number. We're starting with 2. When I divide, I am now going to divide 2 divided by 2. So I'm going to ask myself, how many times can I skip count by the divisor 2 until I get as close to this 2 as possible without going over? If I go back to my tallies, I would skip count 2. I can skip count one time. That's the divide. Now I need to multiply the number I just wrote down. Now this can get tricky because sometimes they will want to multiply 21. But the trick is you must only multiply the number that we just wrote down. In this case it's a 1. So we'll multiply 1 times 2 and we get 2. That's the multiply step. Now we move on to subtract. We subtract 2 minus 2, get 0. C stands for compare. Is the number I just wrote down less than my divisor? Yes, it is. That means it works. And finally, is there another number in the doghouse or in the dividend to bring down? In this case, the answer is no. So I teach them to put a big X there, which says, I'm done. If there happens to be a remainder down here, we would bring that back up here. But in this case, the answer to our problem, we don't have a remainder, so the answer to our problem, or the quotient, is 21. 